Hello everyone, uh, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is doing good. So, in one of my video, uh, we have discussed about how to take your SQL database backups to AWS S3 bucket. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you like how you can do your backups to a Google Cloud storage bucket. Okay. So let's get, let's see like how you can do it. So starting from SQL 2022, you have something called like where you can take backups to an S3 compatible object, which we know. So when we say like compatible objects, it's not just uh, limited to AWS S3 alone. So there are many other compatible objects, S3 compatible objects, which you can find the list here okay so now moving on to the google storage bucket okay so let me just go to the uh, gcp console so this is my gcp account and uh, this is where you get the storage bucket uh, that's the screen which you are seeing uh, let's try to create a new bucket so i'll tell you like how this is going to work uh, let's try to keep it simple for the sake of demonstration. Let's say I'll name my bucket as SQL Server Backup. So this bucket name, whatever you're giving, it should be unique. If it is not, it's not going to allow you to proceed further, okay? And region, depending on whichever location you are located or where you want to uh, take the backups, you can select and now, Let's select Asia and continue. So choose the storage class. So like what we have in AWS here also something like that we have where you can choose the storage class. Let's go with the standard for this demo. That's fine. And here you could see the price, like what is the cost uh, estimate for whatever configuration you have chosen. So. I'm just going with the defaults. Let's not go deep into those uh, in that topic for now. Um, access control, I'll go with uniform. And protection is none for now. So now I'm getting a prompt whether public access will be prevented. Yes, I don't want public access for this block. So let's confirm and uh, create this bucket. This should get completed. Okay, now we have our uh, storage bucket created. Okay. What we have to do is like uh, in AWS or anything, okay, anywhere where you access an external uh, storage container, you would need an access key and a secret, right? So in order to uh, make that connection to the bucket. So here, let's go to the settings. And you have an option called interoperability. Okay, I hope I pronounced it correct, but yeah, interoperable. Okay, that's what they call. So what does this mean is, okay, so it's nothing but like, uh, they say this, when you submit a request to this storage uh, link URI, okay, so whatever request is sent using this uh, URI, let's say like uh, it is compatible with other programming language. Like let's say since this is compatible with S3, okay. So whatever programming methods which you are using to access AWS S3 bucket will be same applicable to this as well, okay. So that's how we are going to leverage this option and take backup to this Google Cloud bucket. And please note, this is applicable for SQL Server 2022 version only, okay? Now, let's, if you come down, um, you have an option to create access key, okay? Let's create a key and make sure like you keep this confidential and uh, you keep it securely. And even if you are trying to implement something in your 
protection environment it's better to have this tag to a service account for better security purpose okay uh, let's do this thing i'll just put this key access key and the secret in the notepad for now okay so this is going to be our URI. let's take this as well and let's go and take our pocket name it is sql server backup okay this would be the bucket name now let me switch over to the switch my screen to the management studio so first we have to create the credential okay so this is the sample code like how you are going to create the credential so the key thing here is the s3 access key okay this should be the identity name and in secret you will be giving the access key and the secret here okay this is the syntax which you could follow and here so up to this point it's going to be uh, common and you have to replace the bucket name at the last so in our case the bucket name is sql server backup which i'll just keep it here and let's take the access key and i'll put it here and this is our secret okay. let's put this here okay so three things this is the bucket name this is the access key and the second part is the secret now let's go ahead and create the credential now you should be seeing the credential here let, let me click this okay this is our credential okay now what we can do is let's stay backup database i think i already have a database created saying backup to gcp let's see and uh, this is going to be like backup to url okay and our url is nothing but this uh, name whatever we have given it to the credential and let's use the define the backup file name dot bak and let's go for compressed backup and i know this is a small db but let's just print the stats also okay and yeah our backup is done so let me switch over my screen to the gcp bucket let's refresh <coughs> is the file let me refresh this page again i don't know what happened because yeah there you go i could have done it here also but somehow it didn't work when i went back and forth but yeah here is our backup and if you want to do the restore it's going to be the same okay so it's going to be restore like how you normally do a restore from url okay if you're going to do a restore from a different machine like all you need is just have this credential created and then do your restores okay so this feature is actually uh, excellent because like if you are uh, moving to if you are working on an environment where like multiple clouds are used and you want to have a standardized backup process you could easily push your backups to respective clouds whichever you are using because in azure you already have if a machine is hosted in azure you can directly push it to an azure storage to using the traditional like backup to url mechanism and for aws also you have the option now and similarly for gcp also you could do it so if you are running with 2022 and if you have a multi cloud so this option is going to be really helpful for you to standardize your backups 
and you could also set the uh, retention policy and all here if you go to the life cycle um, tab you can actually set up a rule depending on your requirement maybe i'll leave it for you to explore these options so that's it guys for this video i hope you liked it so please do share your thoughts comments feedback in comment section and so thank you bye